Speaker, to the Minister of Transport, grain shipments to the West Coast are months behind. Forty ships are stalled at English Bay, costing millions in demurrage. Grain handling and transportation failures have driven prairie prices down by 40 per cent. Will the Minister of Transport require the railways to lease additional locomotive power and rolling stock for grain? Will she require grain companies to publish their export volumes and justify their grain check deductions? And will she take direct responsibility for getting some coordination into a chaotic system that has clearly failed? The Honourable Minister of Agriculture. Well, Mr. Speaker, let me recap what the member opposite did during his time when there were logistics challenges. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> what we've done, Mr. Speaker, is continue to work with industry, with the grain sector, with the railways, and so on. We told everybody they've got to step up their game. Of course, we've got the largest crop in history, Mr. Speaker, thanks in part to the changes at the Canadian Weed Board. Farmers seeded 2 million more acres of wheat than they ever did before. There is global demand. Yes, there are logistical challenges, Mr. Speaker, but the Minister of Transport and myself have talked to all of the proponents throughout the supply chain, saying they've got to pick up their game. We're expecting those, those uh, negotiations to bear fruit very soon, Mr. Speaker. The